Oh god. No. Hello? What's that about? Welcome back to Poppy Playtime, Chapter 2. Alright, we gotta go to Wacka Huggy or Wacka Wuggy. Wacka Huggy Wuggy? Bloop. Bloop. Give me all the high fives. Except you. Bloop, bloop. Bloop. Hi. Hello. Poke your eye. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. All right, I think I'm ready. Bye. Right. Welcome to Wacka Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. Uh, I feel like uh, we need to mouse speed. Just bring that up a bit. The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. Oh. I got this. Oh, I see you. Like this. They're coming out of every orifice. Oh, I see you. Hey, get back in there. I did. High five. Hooray! Mommy is so proud of you. Here, Mommy has another hint for you. Uh, 
Thank you. Only one game left to play. Sad. Mommy was hoping you'd stay here forever. I just might. Though, it's never too late to change your mind. <laughs> A pro gamer. All that Call of Duty I've been playing. Do, 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 do. You'll have enough when I say you have enough. Nom, nom, nom. I said no more. No, I said more. Nom, nom, nom. Stop. No. Nom, nom, nom. Press the button to feed me candy. <laughs> hey, was that something? No, that's not something. Barrel. Power the future. That doesn't look fun. Oh, oh no. Hey, you're not the same Huggy Wuggy. Yes, yes, push the lever. Pull it. Come on, you can do it. Thank you. I appreciate you. Can I touch you? No, let me touch you. Get back here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Very. Bury the minecart. All right. Clearly, I have to do something here. And then. Take Barry with us. Come on, Barry. You gotta be here for a reason, right? Okay. Um. Alright, come over here. Bloop you. you pull you all right we got tape mind if i film this oh not at all sir that's what is i this, like is that jack septic guy so marcus what happened you see 
I was heading home for the day when my apars realized that I left me bloody wallet in the cafeteria. So I'm running through the lobby, and that's when I see it. A mob handle lodged under the innovation wing gate. So what'd you do, Marcus? Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody yoke and be on me merry way. And? Well, I'm reaching for the thing, and the mob handle jolts on its own. Had me scared stiff. I, I thought I was the only one there. So I, I took a peek beneath the gate, and some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. Thing? You're sh sure it wasn't a person? Ain't no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. Marcus, you're losing me. Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Look, it wasn't people, all right? I haven't a bloody notion what it was, but it wasn't human. Hmm. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Just you, sir. Obviously. Okay. I'll have security skim the cameras and take a look. What? There's a massive bloody... Monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're out of line, Marcus. We make toys, not monsters. Now come on, get out of my sight. Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will ya? Actually, never mind, get out of my sight. Alright. Uh, you come over here. Over here, grab the little power sword. Run back. Hit you. Oh. Okay, this is gonna be a little difficult. So what if I come over here? Hit that. Come on, Barry. You can make it. Barry. Barry. One up. backwards fine oh Barry you tried to kill me oh. Barry Barry Hey, who's there? Better. Grab pack storage. Ooh. All right. Um. Oh, we're back up here. Cool. There's four things here. Um. Jeez, have you played these before? You're so good. Seems like you're ready for the final game, statues. Follow mommy down the stairs one last time. I hope you had a fun day at the game station. See you next time. All right.
Hey, I need both hands on this guy. Nailed it. What's over here? Hello? Why's our box over there? Out of my way! Hungry to learn? You do want to play with Pedro? Roger Miller or Bug? I'm crowded on all 400! Wait, is that what Jack saw? Mm, I'm hungry for some delicious bones! Do you have some bones for PJ? Why do you sound like Pennywise? Brown! Brown! Do you want to play with PJ? Okay. Do I have to actually jump up there? What's going on? Come on. Dead Mento! Hit the wrong button! Did it! Mastermind. Where do I go? Back out here. Welcome to Statues. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. That's all. Good luck. It was always so sad to see the kids go. They called me mommy because I was the closest thing they ever had to one. But they come for games and never come back. They left Mommy to die alone. Mommy didn't deserve that. But you, you were teasing. So if anyone deserves to die alone, it's you. 
Not very nice. Shoot. Ah, she. Ah, he. Ah. Stay away. Wasn't me. I was in motion. Easy. Alright, I can't see him. That's good, right? Ooh, ha, he. Coming. Yep. Coming. Coming. To do no one can find me here I am free That's a living toy that was murderized? Is that all that the blood's been from is these toys? center. Okay, so there is a tape that I need to get. Uh, part one, icon sequence. Icons must be sequenced out in this exact order. Little rabbit, huggy wuggy, whatever you are. And then 
mommy train coat icon must be colored in this exact order red yellow red blue transfer request my leg subject mommy long legs has the unique ability to stretch any of her limbs for several hundred feet this includes her fingers arms hair neck waist and legs she's very hostile towards the staff but is very motherly and acts warmly towards the other experiments she is protective of them problem the hostility is quickly becoming problematic perhaps there is a solution to put her in her place proposal Mommy Long Legs would be perfect for facilitating everything with the children in the game station. She has the warmth that a mother should, and any rowdy child can learn to listen to their mother. It makes sense that her seeing these children daily would improve her behavior, and it is very unlikely she will act out in front of the children. Have her transferred to high security maintenance immediately. Conditioning can begin. Alright, um, tape. Not kick me, Paul or Ralph or Nameless. I'm sorry. There's got to be a tape somewhere, right? I would only assume so. about going to the game station. Boy scanner, okay, so... In that case, let us Oh wait, no, I need to go back up. I didn't see that one over there. I did, but I didn't. I forgot about it. Now we can go down. Oh, 
Oh yeah, all the toys. Fine. Hey, can I have this? Ah, I couldn't have. Oh my, I have all the toys of Bunzo Bunny. All right. Haven't found the green tape yet. Okay, you made it over there safely. Jimmy, your work as Playtime Co.'s chief marketing officer has skyrocketed the company's profits. How do you do it? You know, it's not what you'd expect. It's the little things most people don't even think about. Like, take names, for example. I'm surprised people haven't realized this. You take the E sound, slap it on the end of a name, boom, you're making bank. Huggy, Mommy. Even Elliot knew this way back with Poppy. I guess I kind oh, blue. of... Blue. Blue is huge. I'm telling you. What's your favorite color? Blue? I bet it's blue, right? It's blue? It's green. <laughs> okay, well, you're a special case. Most people would say blue. But seriously, marketing is not as easy as you think. I make it look easy. If there's anything Playtime Co. should be known for, it's not toys. It's marketing. A little egotistical, but you know. It is what it is. All right. Making our way downtown. I don't think I can bring you in here. Oh, I can. Oh, man. This way. Leave you right there for now. Hello? Red tape around somewhere. Boogie. Am I a real boy? No. The robot crossed the road. He was programmed to do it. I love you. Do you love me? No. Dance with me. No. The button hurts me. Let's <laughs> <laughs> boogie. -bo -bo Ah, uh, you can just get on out of here. Alright, so I'm assuming there's red tape somewhere over here. Red tape. Anything in this? No?
I supposed to be powering? meant to happen. Alright, so thank you. Hello. Hello. This isn't about you, it's all about me, okay? Alright, third time's the charm. So, thank you. Bloop. 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 Oh man. Alright, where is this red tape? Gotta be somewhere in this area. Just trying to find this red tape. I was a red tape. Where would I be? Oh! Wanted the red tape. Oh, Jesus! I asked you to play fair, and you cheated. I'm gonna touch you. I warn you. We're going to play one last game. It's called hide and seek. I don't like it. Ten, nine, seven, six, five. Four, 
Thank you. I don't like it. Oh no. Did I mess up? Ha, ah, I didn't. No, I wanted you. Staff only? I'm former staff. Does that count? was up there for a reason. Alright, one is red, two blue, three green, red, blue, green. Yellow. Red. Blue. Green. Yellow. Ensure that machinery is clear debris, white machine surfaces, lubricant, dirt, check, or check machinery. Do it again.
got a gear. Okay. Oh. Tommy, is that you? She's not very good at this hide and seek thing, is she? Smarter. Work smarter. There's got to be a way to do that. This time without a barrel trying to kill me and wasting precious time. say we are safe you know that, that's just me though yep oh 
Ah, oh, there it is. Log code 08502. That's what we just saw. In relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. That's the A close prototype. call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door, despite the other specialist still being inside. One casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log. Yay. Well, I have a feeling that the prototype is behind everyone, you know, and their badness. Hi, Poppy. I didn't mean Good. to. I'll board the train. We need to leave. Oh yeah, this is a workout. And a one, and a two, and a three. Hey, that has to be done for something, right? Uh, start by reporting the console station. I'll keep a minimum of 20 yards away from Mommy Long Legs. The train will arrive with the children at 8 a.m. All children will be gathered inside the game station all at once. The order of the game should be musical memory, wacka wuggy, then statues. A series of bridges and doors from the control station should guide you to each game. Mommy Long Legs can assist in escorting the children to each game. Only one child should ever play a game at a time. Children who are not playing a game will wait in the game station. There is playground equipment to keep them entertained. Record each child's performance as it is relevant to each game. Musical memory, composure, memory, pattern recognition, whack of wuggy, hand eye coordination, reaction time, statues, agility, strength, and speed. Once the children have left for the day, return to the control station. Give all reports to Miss Stella Graber to sort through. Uh, Dr. Matthew something. Windows and game station. I don't know if you've ever spent weeks on end in a windowless, artificially lit room, but let me tell you something. It's far from pleasant. The kids are getting rowdy too. You can just see it on their faces. I know there's not really a way to get natural light down here, but there's other ways, right? I'm thinking about fake windows all around. Do that and boom. There's some actual life down here. Saw it on TV last week. This underground place had fake windows, the lights behind glass. It wakes the whole place. It makes the whole place feel sunlit. It's nice. You want everyone in the right headspace for these games, don't you? Do the right thing. Add windows. Well then.
Down we go. Always stick with a bug. Icons must be sequenced on this, in this exact order. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we're not going to worry about the sequence. It's going to be red. So bunny rabbit red, huggy wuggy yellow. And then, mommy long legs blue. Press the buttons on train console in this exact order. Once completed, make sure you pull the train whistle. The icon must be sequenced out in this exact order. Change that. Okay, so bloom, bloom, red, yellow, red, blue, and then oh, one, three, two, four. chilling up there. Choo choo, Thomas the tank engine come and throw. plan for us. Oh no, it's picking up speed. I don't know. Oh no! Oh no! Go 
going too fast. Too fast. Oh. Is that my blood? I'm assuming that's my blood. That's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Play care. You taking the forever nap? That's chapter two. I think I broke the game. Um, that was definitely longer than the first one, which I love. It was really fun. I liked all the little mini games. Can't wait to play chapter three. Hopefully you have enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.